said that yesterday doesn't last, but it doesn't last. It's something that'll be in the the memory uh, after the season and maybe uh, beyond. But right now, uh, one thing we've tried to tell our staff and our players is uh, it's time for 100% for Illinois. Um, as I said to you a hundred times here, it's it sure has been a weird year, not only in the Big Ten, but across the country. And uh, you know, you're in the final week, and I always say it, when you're in the final week or two, you always want to be playing for something. And I mean, not that I'm thinking we're playing for a Big Ten championship, because I'm not, but mathematically, I mean, there's still so many teams still involved with the chance to win a Big Ten championship. Uh, there's a lot of teams still alive, and you probably got I don't know how many teams, if uh, I guess if Clemson and Pittsburgh are under consideration, there's a lot of teams still playing for NCAA berths. So nothing gets any easier. But for us, uh, we just got to keep working on being successful, keep working on grinding. We're starting to play longer stretches of good basketball. I think our, definitely our young kids are starting to play better. Uh, we're getting contributions from a lot more players than McQuaid situation yesterday everybody <clears throat> said could you see that coming and I said yeah you know I really could I mean he's been practicing better um, he worked so hard at his game and he spent so much time that you knew sooner or later as far as Illinois um, you know this whole thing is about where you play people how do they start out who had games on the road if you look at Minnesota's schedule I think five of their first six were on the road or something ridiculous I'm not sure where Illinois was, but uh, no big surprise. I thought Illinois, I thought Michigan, I thought um, Minnesota, you know, have three, four seniors that are starting and uh, a lot of people back. And Illinois is a team that I thought would be one of the top four or five teams at the start. And now they're ending up playing that kind of basketball at the end. They just swept Northwestern. Um, but maybe the best part is they've held five of the last six opponents under 40%. Uh, this is a team with, uh, you know, some very, very good players. Their experience with those three seniors, uh, yeah, they've had some ups and downs. Uh, I think some of it was the schedule early. Um, but you're talking a sixth-year senior point guard that played really well last night. Uh, you're talking Hill, who's been one of the better players in our league since almost since he came in. Maverick Morgan is now playing some of his best basketball. I said Abrams got six years under his belt, a couple of other guys. There's a lot of redshirt sophomores, a redshirt senior, a double redshirt uh, senior in, in Abrams. And with Malcolm Hill scoring over 1,700 points, uh, I think he's proven out over his career. So concerned, yes. Um, more concerned with how we're playing. Um, and we got to keep getting better. Uh, there's definitely things that, looking at the film, we did better. There were some things that we didn't do as well. We're still struggling on some of those ball screens. Illinois runs a lot of ball screens. Um, we did get a better defensive performance out of a couple guys. And, uh, you know, Cash is getting a little better there. Langford's getting a little better. Nick's still got to get up on those things. But that's what we're working on. And today is going to have to be a big practice because uh, I think right now everybody's probably acting like we've accomplished this, this, and this. Number one, we haven't accomplished anything because it's the way it is, but we did take a giant step last year, or yesterday, and I think uh, now you can be playing for, to get in the tournament, you can be playing for a seed to get in the tournament. Uh, there's so many things, so many teams are still playing for it. We're just one of many. Questions?